Gabi Gashagwa, your life is in danger. You've impeached Rigade Gashagwa. We accept. Usha impeached Rigade Gashagwa. We have accepted. You have humiliated him. You did hit this man so hard. Rigade Gashagwa is down. Don't hit a man who is down. A strong man who mepiga mtu mbele ya bibi yake mbele ya watoto wake amekimbia, amejificha chini ya kitanda. Bado unamfuata chini ya kitanda unataka kumpiga mbele ya bibi mbele ya watoto. You've impeached him na unamwambia you've withdrawn his security. He is now surviving by God's mercy. You've withdrawn all his drivers. But just because he's, a, he's at the corridors of justice seeking for seeking for the truth and he's just out to tell Kenyans this thing was more political than you stop stop misusing the directorate of criminal investigation stop abusing the directorate of criminal investigation stop using the directorate of criminal investigation to settle political scores stop using the DCI to hunt those who are criticizing the government stop using the DCI to persecute those who are challenging the status quo stop using the DCI as a political tool to silence those who are advocating for a better leadership let me ask you people a question yani the directorate of criminal investigation wakona haraka ya kusamon rigadi gashagwa aende andike statement over people who tried to poison him not once but twice but the same DCI cannot proceed with speed and accuracy to summon and arrest those who abducted tortured and killed Wajir MCA Mr. Ahmed this directorate of criminal investigation they are always so quick to summon political critics the likes of Kinamain and Jenga the likes the likes of Kina Ferdinand Waititu. In fact, Waititu issue, just issues a statement challenging our current leadership. He is arrested within two minutes. Immediately, I'm talking to church if Pap Mushashika Waititu. Lakini MCA, Anashikwa Nairobi, Anauliwa, Namuliake Nende Napatikana Wajir, they don't write any letter, they don't summon anybody, they don't issue any press statement. Alafu Muniambie, Tukona Directorate of Criminal Investigation. Si Musame tu tukona directorate of political persecution and it is headed by a few individuals in the corridors of power who feel so bad when they are challenged intellectually to lead our country in a proper way to reason as human beings and to stop behaving as if they are robots why are you now using directorate of criminal investigation to interpret the laws to define our laws to determine who lives and who dies. Look at the manner in which Wajir MCA, Mr. Ahmed, was abducted. The brutal, the brutal nature or the heinous act, the horrible way in which he was murdered. How many people are missing after the after the uh, uh, during the gen how many people went missing during the Gen Z's demonstrations? How many Kenyans do we know who are arrested by people believed to be police officers and until today they have never been found? How many people do we know who are abducted in broad daylight and they were later discovered dead with their bodies mutilated? This same Directorate of Criminal Investigation that is now summoning Rigadi Gashagwa to go and write a statement over his political assassi assassination cannot give us a report over a certain lady who was working at NHIF who was shot in broad daylight by a sniper at the CBD and the case went cold. It is a, it is a PUI, a case pending under investigation. Why? Uh, why is the Directorate of Criminal Investigation executing their mandate selectively through receiving orders from some people who do not want things to be done in accordance to the law? Who will save Kenyans? Who will listen to ordinary citizens? If today uh, the government of the day is now reducing the police as a tool to settle political matters, who will be there for ordinary citizens?
Isn't this the same police that were used to withdraw a judge's security as a, as, a, as, a, as a way of sending a silent warning that if you don't cooperate, your life is in danger? You've impeached Rigade Gashagwa. We accept. Usha impeached Rigade Gashagwa. We have accepted. You have humiliated him. You did hit this man so hard. Rigade Gashagwa is down. Don't hit a man who is down. A strong man who mepiga mtu mbele ya bibi yake mbele ya watoto wake. Ame kimbia. Ame jificha chini ya kitanda. Bado na mfuata chini ya kitanda. Unataka kumpiga. Mbele ya bibi mbele ya watoto. You've impeached him now. You've withdrawn his security. He's now surviving by God's mercy. You've withdrawn all his drivers. But just because he's, a, he's at the corridors of justice seeking for seeking for the truth and he's just out to tell Kenyans this thing was more political than you think. <laughs> Where are we headed as a nation? Watch a neni na rigadi gashagwa. And the DCI, if you want to, uh, if you want to interrogate Rigadi Gashagwa, prepare so many desks because you are going to interrogate so many Kenyan youths. You are going to interrogate so many people. Why are you people using? Why are you people? <laughs> A day is coming. Power is temporary. Power is temporary. Matiangi was a very powerful bitch. Matiangi was a very powerful son of a bitch. Matiangi used to be the law. Matiangi used to determine who lives and who dies. Matiangi angekohoa watu wanasimama. Where is Matiangi today? Can't you learn? Didn't you learn? Didn't you see what happened to Fred Matiangi? I'm asking you people a question. Didn't you see what happened to Fred Matiangi? Nkainseri used to be a powerful man. Where is Kainseri today? Where is Joseph Boynet? Where is Negwa Muhoro? Where are they? Where are they? Where are those men who lived as if they are the law? Where are those men who lived as if they decide who does what, how, where, when? Where are they today? Where? Power is temporary. You can even die while, while still in office. Laboso, Laboso died. Laboso died. Laboso died in office. Jomo Kenyatta. Jomo Kenyatta Uhuru's father died in office. How many men do you know who died while in office?